How's it going everyone? College Lefty, and in this video we have a brand new event coming to MLB The Show 20. It's going to be the Man vs. Nature event, and it's also going to feature a brand new signature series endgame, Eno Slaughter. And I'll go ahead and talk about his projected attributes. Let's go ahead and hide the face cam. We'll get right into some gameplay as well. If you all enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you are new, we're approaching 10,000 subscribers, and I know I haven't posted as many videos as I would like to recently. I've just been trying to play as much of this game as possible. I've been extremely busy in my uh, personal life as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at Eno Slaughter's attributes from last year's game. Now, he will be a 97 overall signature series card. And the trend that we've seen in MLB The Show 20 suggests that this card will have the exact same attributes. Almost every single signature series card that we've had have had the exact same attributes as the previous year. So this is what I expect Eno Slaughter to look like. I don't expect him to be that good uh, in comparison to a lot of the other players that we have in the game already. I figured I would hop into the current event as well as some ranked seasons towards the end of this video. But I actually lost that first game, lost I think 6-2. to two. I just did not hit with runners in scoring position. But I have posted a few uh, montage videos of just non-stop home runs in MLB The Show 20. And I, I kind of wanted to get away from that a little bit. I've been uh, wanting to focus on some highlights in general. I've left out a lot of hits uh, like this where we kind of missed the ball completely with the PCI. And it goes off the wall here at Fenway or it does find a gap. And I wanted to kind of include as many highlights as possible in this one. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this current event that's going on, as well as uh, what you think about the brand new event. What do you think the rules could be for that, as well as uh, who might be the other reward, right? We have Eno Slaughter. Let me know what you think about him. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction uh, that we're going to get Edgar Martinez, a signature series Edgar Martinez or... Um, a better version because we only have the 90 overall there are still quite a few legends that we could get into the game right i mean we're still missing jack morris we're still missing a few players that i've kind of mentioned throughout the game cycle edgar martinez is one of them we are still waiting on the 99 overall adley rutchman the future star version of him and the 99 overall future star wander franco i know the community has been waiting for those two cards both switch hitters for quite some time now and I know that the community is also waiting for some MLB The Show 21 news. We're waiting for the cover athlete to be revealed. Uh, a lot of people are saying Roberto Clemente. I really hope that it is but I think we'll get a big name guy maybe like Cody Bellinger, Mookie Betts. I'm not exactly sure. It is probably more of a safe guess to guess that they're going to go with a current player. But uh, the lack of news recently, I know it's only we're only a week into the brand new year and MLB The Show did say that they're going to wait until 2021 before they reveal any information. I just really hope that the game is not delayed in terms of when they actually release it. Just as a content creator, I want to hope to have a new game to be able to create brand new content with uh, you know, building a team from scratch all over again. Uh, this year, I put a good amount of money into the game at the beginning about five hundred dollars worth of stubs and i decided to collect mickey mantle i decided to get the collections done a lot earlier plus i had the money to spend this year and i don't know if i will spend any money on mlb the show 21 i might spend a little bit but for the most part um i'm kind of just waiting to see what they're going to decide and what they're going to go with for um brand new features in the game i've just been thinking a lot about mlb the show 21 and I'm waiting for some news before I uh, decide that I'm going to spend any money or even, uh, you know, decide whether I'm going to pre-order the $100 version versus just purchase the regular game. I also don't have a PlayStation 5, so I'm kind of waiting on MLB The Show to reveal some information before I make some of these decisions. I know that I'm not the only one that's kind of in this situation, even though some of you may not even create content for the game, you're still might be thinking about some of these same ideas or might be in some of the same situation. So um, I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out there, talk about MLB The Show 20, talk about MLB The Show 21, and kind of what I would hope to see here in the next week and a half, two weeks. Uh, we're a couple months away from a brand new game or potentially a brand new game, and I'm pretty excited for it. I have been playing this game you know, consistently throughout the entire year. I've taken a couple breaks here and there. And uh, it's been a long time since I've live streamed. I've just been 
extremely busy with my teaching position and uh, a lot of changes are going on each and every day with that job so I'm trying to upload as often as I can but for the most part when I want to play some video games I want to kind of sit down and actually play some video games rather than sit down and go through all the clips edit the videos because I do everything myself here on the this YouTube channel I create the videos the thumbnails the commentary the edits everything and I'm still trying to improve um, hopefully with some of the brand new features with the PS5 and uh, with some equipment upgrades I will be able to continue to improve my content which is the number one goal as well as uh, you know to keep uh, uploading a variety of things for all of the viewers here so with that being said you know we have a pretty good game here in this event eight to five ball game I gave up a grand slam in the first inning a couple more uh, two run shots in the top of the second now we're trying to at least tie it up at least stay with the opponent here uh, because this game could get out of hand at any time this guy's hitting everything when we're playing on all-star with some of the game mechanics in MLB the show 20 it's extremely hard to strike players out uh, unless you have pitchers that have great uh, velocity differential on their pitches maybe the outlier quirk and things like that uh, at times I have struggled in this event at the plate just because of uh, I guess my inconsistency warming up my inconsistency with my timing and moving around the PCI if I didn't play for a few days or so I really think that uh, this game and a lot like other games the more time you put in the more practice you're playing and uh, getting those online reps then the better you're gonna be and the more improvement you're going to see with your game but all in all I'm really looking forward to the brand new MLB the show 21 experience I like building my team from scratch and maybe because I did spend a little bit of money on stubs this year uh, I got all the cards pretty quickly I was able to get the videos out which is helpful for the channel but at the same time you know I've had a lot of these players throughout the majority of the game cycle and maybe that's why I haven't played as much online but um, I don't know I mean there's a lot of factors in there it's just some things that I've thought about I think that the content overall has been incredible in this game we have a huge variety of players to select from uh, a lot of cool players from this last MLB season we also have you know a lot of the cool team affinities that are actually end game and usable um, pretty much since stage two I want to say you know stage one team affinities were really good at the beginning but those cards won't really do as well now against some of the better pitchers in the game but I think that because you can build a team with no money spent you can grind out a lot of really good players that there's a lot of upside to ultimate team and MLB the show and Diamond Dynasty and everything I just I'm kind of wondering you know what happened to the content over the last two months or so it just seems like MLB the show is really focused and only focused on promoting their game to new players which I completely understand that makes complete sense to me but I also don't know why we didn't get you know some of these end game cards that the majority of the community is really looking forward to and we might get this card you know maybe Adley Rutschman maybe Wander Franco tomorrow and if so I think that that would make a lot of people happy but at the same time you know they might have waited a little bit too long at this point you might as well just hold it off on those cards and release them early in the game cycle of next year or at least a good version of those cards that are usable uh, at the early game cycle of next year's game I don't I don't really know I know there's going to be brand new prospects and brand new future stars so I am looking forward to some of that stuff I think it's really cool in that sense but that's gonna do it for this video I'm college lefty and hopefully you enjoyed peace out